hello my lovely people welcome back to my channel i greet you according to your time and the time you are seeing this video we are still on the gist from the palace of oni of ife allegedly we heard that uh, reverend funke who happens to be with naomi's godmother yes uh, according to what we are hearing they said reverend funke is queen naomi's godmother have insisted on victory for queen naomi we do know that they said when this whole issue started with between the king and queen naomi uh, when uh, the king reported the case to reverend funke because they said queen naomi respects queen uh, respects reverend funke a lot you know She's one of those people that can advise her and she will listen. And that was when they said uh, Reverend Funke intervened and pleaded with Queen Naomi to return back to the palace. That was be before the king married Dr. Elizabeth. And the king promised Queen Naomi that she, he will not marry uh, more women. But when he got married to Dr. Elizabeth, everything spoiled. So when Nomi did not go back again, and ever since then, she have made up her mind that she is not returning back to that palace. Because one thing is certain, according to what we are hearing, allegedly they said she really suffered while in that palace, you know. And they said all those women, they bullied her, they frustrated her, they ganged up against her, including the fat priest and some elders who think that her prayer is spoiling something for them in that palace. So... Uh, Reverend Funke was fully involved then, but it got to a point when she decided to uh, forget about everything that happens between the two, you know. So the thing continued. Well, recently, we heard that the king called her and was telling her to uh, plead with Queen Naomi to take Tade and relocate to Canada and all of that. But according to what we are hearing, they said... Uh, Reverend Funke's response to that, uh, ad, uh, f uh, to that thing that the king told her was, uh, wasn't good for the king. It's not what she expected because according to what we heard, she told the king that uh, it is not in her position to decide for Queen Naomi. That Queen Naomi have the right to take a decision and the king should respect her decisions. That she's old enough to know where she's supposed to be and where she's not, uh, she don't want to be. That if she don't want to relocate to Canada, that that is her decision, that the king should learn to uh, abide by that. And again, how uh, she cannot be running away from uh, the Oloris, that it is the king's mistake that he should deal with it and not dragging Queen Naomi to it. That we normally have the right to be happy. And if she's not happy in the marriage, that the best thing to do is to release her so that she'll be happy and concentrate on her work. Because we do know that she's got a lot, a lot of work to do, including the work of God, of which she's doing very well. So they said the king wasn't happy with that response from uh, Reverend Funke. Okay, uh, right now what we are hearing is that Runke have reached out to uh, Reverend Funke have reach out to Queen Naomi, telling her that she is in support of her actions, you know, that she shouldn't be afraid of anything. She shouldn't have everything over fighting for her freedom, that she shouldn't take think of what people will say, you know. She shouldn't put herself in a position where she will be uh, regretting her actions of leaving the palace, that she deserves to be happy, you know, uh, that anything that can make her happy, that it is not wrong for her to fight for her happiness and freedom. You know, because it's beginning to look like uh, she's kind of regretting her actions and all of that. Like some people have been saying, saying that she shouldn't have left the palace and all of that. So, and I was asking, is she supposed to be there until she buy in that palace? And a lot of people will come out and be saying justice for Queen Naomi. Is that what you people want? Why don't the king give her freedom now that she desires it so that she can move on with her life? To be in a marriage is not by force. And in a marriage where someone is not happy, she's not ready to be uh, suffering and smiling like some of these uh, lorries are doing in the palace. Because we do know that they are not happy in that marriage. Most of, they are not happy, not even most of them. They are not happy. They are, they are, they are just managing. 
every now buzz booze. Every moment they will be blasting themselves, selling their issues in the, uh, to the bloggers and all of that. That is to tell you how uh, uh, mean they are to themselves. So Queen Nomi have looked at herself. She's so pretty. She's so young to be uh, living such a life, you know? And to, for how long? This is a lifetime stuff. She don't want to continue with it. So according to what we are hearing, they said, Reverend Funke have told her, do not be afraid of your decision. You know, don't, don't regret any action that you have taken for your freedom, that you deserve to be happy. You deserve to be free from any life that you don't desire for yourself. After all, this is not what uh, he promised you. Meanwhile, don't let's not forget that there was a time Sometime, few months ago, about three, four months ago, they said uh, a lot of suitors were coming for Queen Naomi, you know, and she was about to choose one. There's one person they were talking about then, they said it's an airline boss, you know. It was this same uh, Reverend Funke that called her to order and told her that it will be very good to wait for some time and settle the marriage with the king. You know, even if you don't want to continue with the marriage, at least give it some time. Don't rush into marriage immediately so that you don't make mistake. You know, it is better that you give it time. Then after after some time, if it, do, if it doesn't work, you cannot move on with another man. But trying to do it in a hurry, maybe because you are hot or because you, are, you want to heal by all means that you might not even get that healing at the moment. That it would be better to give the marriage between the king, you and the king time, either to be dissolved properly or to be amended, you know. And that was when the issue of uh, going for shopping, wedding shopping, and all of that, we started here, stopped hearing about that one. But now I don't know what must have prompted uh, this Reverend Funke over advising her to fight for her freedom. Maybe it has been revealed to her that uh, this marriage might not work, okay? But what baffles me is that some other people are saying that someone like Pastor Jerry, the last revel uh, prophecy that we had, was telling Queen Naomi to wait, that God said that he, he, she should wait. I don't know, don't know which one to believe again or which one not to believe, but all I seek for is let her be free. Her freedom matters most to all of us, and she has got a lot of people who love her for real, you know? So she shouldn't bother her pretty self about anything. The only thing is that let her fight for her freedom and let her not double, let her not have uh, have double mind over it. She should fight for her freedom, and by God's grace, she was, she's going to get her freedom. So my people, now so we hear them. Don't forget that they are all alleged information. Okay, always bear that in mind. They are not for stand information. Thanks for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you're yet to subscribe and share my video. Okay and say your opinion on the comment section. Bye for now. Love you guys.